versus Uther. The parrot. I actually thought about putting a parrot in. I have no fan, huh? Oh well, I need a backstab by Sai. I didn't think Ship's Cannon was really going to survive to keep the uh, Sassy Deck Cannon on turn 3. Good. He didn't have anything early. I need to keep his board clear. Here we go. I wish I had the South Sea deck hand now. I didn't think this was going to happen when he had this level start. Next turn, I can uh, hear hero power make a deadly poison and play Dread Corsair. Interesting. Uh, I could deli poison, play everything, and I, I want to save. Wait, wait, wait. Captain Greenskin, Assassin's Blade. Maybe save Captain Greenskin for that, and just go ahead and play deli poison here, and play both my both my guys. Do I attack first just to get the two? No. So does that make more sense? It's more of a tempo play, but then I won't be able to play Captain Greenskin on five. Now let's go ahead and just not play the Blood Cell Raider, I think, and just. Attack. Actually, no, this is too much tempo to lose. Okay, so let's go ahead and play this. Wait, that's a part too? Oh, yeah, everything's a part. For some reason, I didn't realize this is a part. Okay, that's good. <laughs> This is a pirate, but I don't have a... <laughs> Get him, ship's cannon. The captain himself. Have any more pirates? This is a pirate, but I don't know if I want to play him this turn. As tempting as ship's cannon is, I think I'm gonna go for the assassin's blade here. I'm gonna start by attacking. I think that's competitive spirit, so I'm just gonna suicide him into noble sack if it is. I have Captain Green skin and I think that's lethal eventually. I don't have room for sap, I need more pirates. That's actually the real reason. If I I, I wanna make a pirate deck with Ashley Sousy Captain as well, so I want I want a very high pirate density. Ship's cannon is actually so close to being broken. I mean that it's basically a super juggler. And juggler Juggler used to be a 2-3 and it got nerfed to a 3-2. Because a minion like that, it's better if it has more life, right? I have a lot of removal. One health minion is not really going to stick around against mage. And this is more of a removal. Let's play the tempo game. This is definitely a tempo deck. I didn't expect that move, but it should be okay. That costs him a lot as well to coin.
I have a charger with a buff. This is going to be 3-2 charger if I want to do that. <laughs> Get wrecked. Here we go. Hey, like <laughs> All right, it's time for my assassin's blade. Don't have anything else to do. Uh, this is what? I'm count damage. This is 12 damage. With the deadly poison, it's 5 times 420 damage. I'm just gonna attack this turn. I have over the amount of damage I need. Even if I get a deadly poison out next turn, it's still. It's mostly by turn timers and not by life. I have enough life. Stuck is good. I need the like the rogue stuff really would be the best. So SI is amazing. The rogue stuff is really what allows you to build tempo, like backstab and deadly poison SI, and then pirates do a lot of damage. So even though Mulligan Shade Dealer, like it's a great card late game, three mana five four, it's just really good for tempo. Okay, that's definitely scary, because if I have to use my coin for the double attack, I can fall I'm gonna fall behind. Oh well I have a two drop, so The problem is I can't really coin SI because the scariest thing is probably aspirant. I don't think there's many three twos. I guess if it plays juggler I'll be pretty sad, but against aspirant I can't kill anyways. Just wanna go wicked knife into a ship's cannon, maybe into a South Sea Dust can. Uh, if I had one more man next turn, I could do something amazing, like just attack here, arm what, uh, dagger, and then play deadly poison plus ship's cannon plus corsair. But it's it's one off mana. Here we go. Problem is on four, he can just hero power the ship's cannon, and I can't deal the one damage to the aspirant that easily. I'm gonna fast move this turn, but kind of messed up my mana curve going to later turns. Curve was so fast. I don't know. I guess I guess if he had a shredder, I should have probably just played my minion on turn three instead of re daggering or on on, on turn two. Hope that's not a fell reaver. A 
another night on the prowl. Okay, I can do that. I need a spell or a cheap minion for Drake. He goes all face on a six. I don't know if I can recover. At this point, I die to one force of nature. Anytime he top decks it. Probably like something like Dr. Boom ends the game as well. He could have got me to one. That would have pretty much guaranteed his win. But this is still good, I think. There's no reason to keep uh, Blade Flurry. I can just single target down the first two minions with Deadly Poison. <laughs> this is the dream. Okay, it's okay. He has Frostball. I'm gonna play the second one though. Double ship cannon. If I had two ships cannon and kill it and then played like, mass minions, aw. Oh. Still okay. I have some good tempo cards as well. This turn, there's a lot of different ways to play it. I guess this is better because these cards are faster and this is a slow card. So I should just play my slow minion, then keep the minions with the media effects. I could play both that can SI and just go for the kill on it. Eventually, there's mirror entity as well, though, so. South Sea Tinker Oil face. He would get a one a two one. This is probably good. Uh, and I'll just end up trading here actually. Oh that's annoying actually. Three health, wow. I wanted to just leave this guy up, the 2-1, trade for the cultist, and then play Deadly Poison next turn and SI the cultist, or the 2-1. That way I have a gigantic weapon, but it was too big to kill like that. Alright, let's start by... I'm almost out of cards. He's almost out as well, though. But his deck could be bigger than mine. Something like Dr. Boom. I guess my deck is trying to be faster than Dr. Boom, but this game, he did a really good job of staying even. Lights. 
Sal. I don't see a situation where this will be really better later, probably. So, just in case he he needs that two mana if he gets Doctor Boom or something. Gonna use my weapon just because in this kind of top deck mode, it's not that likely that it perfectly lines up to kill something at three. For the most part, like the sky cap and just trade against minions, and this will allow me to just keep swinging. With Deadly Poison, this is one mana. So, what's my mana curve if I keep this? Turn one pass, turn two. It doesn't line up that well still. If only, um. I forgot what I was gonna say. I didn't backstab it because I wanted to, if he plays Darnassus Aspirin, I wanted to backstab SI the Aspirin and just leave up the Lepernome. Backstab is always good for later, I guess it's fine as well. Nice, a free turn. That's so good for me. I think I use this turn to develop my deadly poison here. Does it cost one? That's so good. I have this crazy turn next turn. Chip cannon, double pirate, four damage, even backstab. I already have a weapon. I'm gonna attack first. Here we go. Oh. Blood and blood. Oh, oh. It worked out. This guy is ridiculously good. Fell Reaver. I can actually kill the Fell Reaver. Sky. <laughs> What's going on in this game? Okay, so this is a pirate. If I do Sky Reaver backstab, I, I got a good plan. Oh, always lucky. It's, I've never hit face. I always kill our minions. <clears throat> I must safeguard the land. Guide my lands. Need a player on Savage Roar, I think. It is still taunt form. We have this sassy captain, should work out fine. Because I can trade this in and not even die. That's good. Cool. 
I should have put this first. Well, it wouldn't really have made a difference to play the South Seed that can first. For some reason, I thought it was a four attack charger. So if it was, I just I used it to charge it, but it's only three. That was the pre here. I think my here is ship's can, and I had to suicide him at the end. Updated old double doom hammer shaman. Uh, I haven't tried it in a while, so not really. I mean, it, it eventually turned into kind of like a mech shaman, that kind of deck. It's actually the same style. The double Doomhammer Shaman is basically evolved into the new mech shaman now. Why is Van Cleef not a pirate? He seems like he should be a pirate. This guy seems like a pirate too. There's no point in playing South Sea Deckhand here over the South Sea Captain. Here we go. Nice. If I miss, I would have to backstab it. Then for just redemption, it would pretty much survive then. What is he running? Okay, so I'm gonna just this guy's toast. Scurvy. I wanna kill that so if Noble Sack Avenge together, I don't have to get Avenge. Vault? Thanks for subbing. Welcome to Strive Crew. Crowfist. Kid killed my pirate lord. This is 5 damage. I have lethal. I had so much like end game power too. <laughs> Playing a lot of these decks, maybe this deck is just good against these decks. Probably one of the worst hands I start with. I don't have a coin as well. Coin is really important for me to have. With this hand, I might not be playing a tempo game. Like no no turn one Southie probably. Actually, I, I need to play Southie that can't turn one. I was thinking maybe I can use it on turn three for removal, but that doesn't really do much either. I'd rather force the coin. If he plays Mana Worm, I can kill it with the hero power. If it pass, turn two, dagger, yeah, that just, just doesn't deal with the mana very well. Oh, 
How do I want to do this? Hmm. It's too mana efficient to deadly poison pass. Then I've dealt Mirity on my guys as well. It's just one damage. Even if I play Assassin's Blade next turn, I'm only losing one damage. But I might play Shade Dealer and Eviscerate, so... Too greedy to play Assassin's Blade and then, and then the Captain this next turn because I don't have any minions on board. Minions do damage every turn they're up for free, so I definitely need minion presence over weapon presence right now. Even this is still six damage with the dagger or knife. I also might proc my Shady Dealer. At least my my minions line up very well against the assassin. And I have assassin's blade plus eviscerate next turn. Well, as of right now, it's not that useful. I think. Okay, I pretty much have infinite damage. <laughs> With Assassin's Blade. And I have it set up where he needs to take a turn to remove the Shady Dealer. If he doesn't just play his boom here, I probably can just race him. And if he loses this turn, like not play Dr. Boom here, oh, this is pretty scary. I don't know, we'll see. I feel like I have enough damage, kind of. That was good top deck. I want to create some tension by buying me some turns. Here we go. Let's negotiate. You can see it, and I'll let you live. How much mana is this? Five, six. I still have enough damage, pretty much. I just. I'm just losing on turns, like eventually he'll kill me. Let me see how many turns I can stay alive. I thought that by attacking to his guy I could gain a turn or something. I probably did gain a turn, so... Might be okay anyways. What would that be? Mortal Coil or something? A new acquisition. Let me change your mind. Okay, so I'm really running out of turns. Yes! Got it. That better not be a counter spell. Oh my god, it probably is. Oh well. <laughs> nice. 
Got a ten dollar nation from eleven Pahan eleven. Unban me, please. I was not very happy with the fact that a high skilled player like yourself plays Cancer is secret then. The shittiest deck ever. Pirates are cool. Thanks. <laughs> uh, all right. I have no time for games. Barrier. Wow, it's not over. Twelve damage. Jeez. Ah, this is epic. I have so many top decks to kill him. Even Sky Captain is uh, some burst damage. I'll show them. I'll show them all. <laughs> I think that's a troll. There's no way that his deck actually runs Ice Block, right? As a as a tempo mage. <laughs> 